My name is Francoise Weeks, floral designer. Carol Gillian, botanical couture artist. So uh, I started to teach uh, in my studio in 2003, uh, some evening classes, and then in 2009, I started to teach wedding workshops, and in 2013, um, I started to travel uh, to teach workshops, mostly in the U.S., but also internationally. Uh, I really love to share information that uh, I figured out over the last uh, 24 years, and, um, uh, and then I love to see how people interpret the mechanics that I explained and what they create uh, themselves. So uh, I mainly do photo shoots with uh, two photographers in Portland. They are almost always botanical couture workshops, so the photographers uh, find the models that we will be working with, uh, the makeup artists, and then uh, we choose a topic. Uh, I do my thing, they do their thing. <laughs> and uh, it really is always a wonderful experience. It kind of pushes me to do something different than I've done before. Uh, it's great for creative juices and then of course I always get fabulous pictures that I use to promote my work uh, on social media. Sometimes um, uh, some of the images have been published in magazines. Uh, so photo shoots are fantastic and they're a lot of fun. So last year, Carol and I did uh, a collaboration on a photo shoot. Uh, it worked out wonderfully. Uh, Florist Review uh, published uh, an article on it. And uh, so we decided that uh, we had such a great time doing it that we would do another uh, photo shoot together. And so here we are. <laughs> I started to do botanical couture uh, about uh, 12 years ago. Uh, it all kind of happens very organically, one little bit at a time. I was, I really enjoyed doing it and I pursued it. And uh, then ultimately it served a purpose because this is what I teach when I travel. They want me to teach. They want to learn the skills on how to do jewelry or purses or headpieces, etc., etc. Well, the, the mechanics are not the, all that uh, complicated, or uh, but it's very, very time-consuming to make these things. It takes hours and hours and hours. So um, I've done these uh, for, um, you know, not only for photo shoots, but uh, also for. I've been hired a few times for to do them for. Um, for fashion shows or for uh, events uh, outside of Portland, on the East Coast, basically. It's just something that's uh, very different from making arrangements in vases or uh, decorating uh, events. It's, uh, I don't know, the funny part about it is I've never been interested in fashion, but I love doing this uh, with flowers. So, uh, yeah, it's great. Start small. Start with easy things. If you are making clothing, buy pieces that are already tailored, finished. I make bustiers and uh, bustier tops. And I usually recommend buying them on Amazon. Amazon has great prices, or you can go to foundation stores. And I don't know if they even call that anymore. <laughs> but uh, then they're very expensive, so Go to Amazon, between 15 and a couple hundred dollars, you can get something you can work with and play around with, and practice makes perfect. It's something different, a different way to look at florals and uh, botanicals, and uh, it's unique. It's perishable. It's a one-time piece that nobody else will have. Maybe similar, but nobody will have the same thing twice, so it's unique, and uh, also that uh, a good photographer will keep that moment forever. The reason I like to do these photo shoots is the perishability of the product is captured forever. And I think that's kind of important uh, as it's like a wedding bouquet. It's one time and then it's gone. So you cherish your photographs. And so it's the same thing with uh, botanical couture. You can cherish the moment and it's caught in a photograph forever. It's not a big community, but there are a number of us that do this. Yeah, I do it 
pretty much exclusively. I used to do a lot of wedding work in my past years as a florist, but I do botanical couture exclusively now. I would describe my style as very body fitting. I don't like adding extra bulk to the body, so I try to stay true to the human form. It has its challenges, a lot of them, but uh, it, uh, it's invigorating to me to be able to capture the human body without distorting it. For a beginner, I would say buy a finished bustier or a bodice and take off all the filigree, the little frills and the ribbons, take them off, smooth it down, make sure it fits your client and go from there. I rely on my iPhone when I work. I take a picture and it gives me the negative image so I can see it and then I will see pretty much what a photographer will see. And that way I can see is the balance wrong or right and uh, yeah, my iPhone is my friend. <laughs> Francoise and I have worked together in the past. I believe it was just over a year ago and it was really a successful shoot. It was pleasant, she's easy to work with and we have the same eye for detail. Although our styles are different, we both look at detail, very important. So I think it was the desire to work together that brought us back together again. So she's wonderful to work with. The public sees what can be done with flowers and botanicals, not just in a bouquet, but as an art form. <laughs>